I'm Renee Skinner. We're going to start off with developing news tonight. Nine people were shot at a fraternity party just off of Southern University's campus. NBC Local 33's investigative reporter Ariel Salk is live from the campus of Southern with more on police's investigation. Ariel. That's right, Renee. So we have confirmed that all nine people that were shot are Southern University students and they're expected to all survive their injuries. Now, earlier today, I was able to speak with one young student who was at the party last night during the shooting and she and a friend were able to run and escape from the violence. She is pretty shaken up, but she's grateful that they were able to get out unharmed. I was in the back room, and the shots happened in the front towards the stage. Southern University sophomore Kirsten Harrison says she was at the Kappa Alpha Psi fraternity house for a homecoming party when shots rang out. All I know is they said they started fighting in the front, and people trying to like stop and calm it down so we could continue partying. And you know, shots happened and stuff. That's when Harrison and her friend ran for safety. So as soon as I heard the first pop. I took off running and we found like a little, like a little house, a little, like a little it was a shed. shed. Yeah, it was a shed in the back. We hood, we like, um, we went in there for a little while. Then I was like, no, nah, we have to run. Despite the violent evening, the campus is going forward with homecoming events. We want to assure the family and friends and community that we have safety measures in place. Southern University Police Department Captain Harold Williams says they were preparing to bring extra support for the game and will not be increasing security measures in response to the shooting. No, we already had uh, prepared for a large crowd. It makes me anxious to come on campus, um, but more so just kind of anxious to know that we still have students that's on this campus that can be hurt when we're in a safe environment. Harrison says she feels safe being at school events, but might take a break from parties. Until I feel safe and comfortable enough to where I feel like I can go out and enjoy my time and not have to run for my life or think like, oh, if I go here, I might not come back. Now, BRPD says that they will be giving us updated information sometime this evening. When that happens, we will update you here on air and online at brproud.com. Reporting just off of Southern University's campus, Ariel Salk, NBC, Local 33 News. All right, Ariel, thank you so much for keeping us updated every step of the way in this investigation. Well, for the fourth straight month, Louisiana.